Happening this week, tens of thousands of student workers are set to walk off the job at the University of California campuses. It's being called the largest strike ever by academic workers. CBS 13's Shante Passmore is live at UC Davis tonight, getting answers on the impact this strike could have there. Shante. Well, guys, thousands of UC Davis students workers say they are ready to hit the picket line if a deal is not reached between the union and the UC system. And one student tells me if things just don't get better, this could alter her grad school experience. So what's at stake here? Well, the biggest sticking point is pay. A lot of students say they are rent burden, meaning 30%, uh, more than 30%, I should say, of their salary goes towards their housing expenses. United Auto Workers Union members say they play such critical roles at the universities from grading assignments to providing groundbreaking research and we actually caught up with union members getting ready for Monday's possible strike one student and member tells me student workers can work as many as 60 hours a week and they believe their paycheck should reflect their workloads I feel sometimes a lot of anger and sadness but I try to sort of like channel that through action and so you know yeah I've been personally really impacted by the conditions also that the university has said I ha have had a lot of like a hard time finding affordable places to live and so what will this mean at schools like UC Davis? Well, the university is bracing for the possible strike by getting the word out. It says things like teaching lectures, labs, and grading submitted work could be impacted for a period of unknown duration. And again, UC is in talks with the union as we speak right now. But if there is a breakdown in communication, that strike will start tomorrow at 9 a.m. at two locations. One is at Hutchinson and LaRue, and the other is at Russell and College.